hello guys welcome back today i will be performing recursion program in java so let me introduce what the recursion is recursion is a you can say the procedure self calling procedure let's give you a demo like let it be function recur i'm just using just a demo and within this function i am use i'm mean just calling the same function as you can see function rec is defined and within this function the same function is getting called so it's called repetitive task can be performed using recursion so again and again whenever this function execute this recursion function will be called again and again just give it okay so let's do our program in java and let understand what does in a programming way so let's start get any project here let's create java java application project click on next let's give a name here recursion demo click on finish as you can see the file has been created so we'll be using factorial program within using recursion so you will get a proper idea about the what recursion means let's declare one variable here in number let it be factorial okay i just want a uh, user to be entered this input for the number variable so we will be printing a message for user system dot print ln enter a number we will be using scanner class here scanner user input to new scanner and will provide here a parameter system dot in you can see you have to import this class fix import okay so let's take an input from the user and store in this variable so number will be user input dot next int will be using integer from the you want integer variable okay i am using this code in a static or public static void main so i have to declare here static for all variables because we cannot perform any operation on the variable in the main function if it is not declared as a static so we have got this number we have to print the factorial of the number so let's create a function here okay factorial okay let's see fact and we'll pass here a variable number so we will create a function here public int fact here just will have a parameter int n okay we have to declare static function as you can see i am calling from the main function so we'll just provide a condition here if n equal to equal to 1 then we'll just return 1 here because factorial of a number 1 is only 1 and else we can just have a output here factorial factorial equal to n 
into fact n minus 1 and we just have a return statement factorial so this is called the recursion means as you can see this is a function factorial we are taking the input or parameter from the main function if we are checking if it is equal to 1 then we just return 1 here otherwise the factorial variable has to be changed so we just return whatever number we get we just multiply with and again we will call this function passing the parameter which is decremented by 1 suppose we get the input phi so phi into and again this function will be called but the next time the integer or n value will be 4 so it's get repeatedly called it's called a recursion just I am just giving the comment self calling function so this is exactly the recursion means calling itself again and again until this any condition is satisfied so I have just done this is a function or this is a recursion code and we will just return the factorial value whatever we get so every time just declare factorial equal to 1 initially it would be 1 otherwise we can give an error or we can get an error and let just display this yeah, just want to display so directly I am going to display factorial of whatever what we get as a number we'll just concatenate the string here equal to plus factorial okay we don't require to be this we can just that's it for the code just save it as you can see you can just take a return statement or return value into a store in a variable and then you can display I am just displaying on the same line so it will be display factorial of this number is just display is here whatever return value we get we just display just save it let's compile it let's check if we get any error as you can see the message is displayed and asking me to give an input so I'm just giving as in phi so as you can see the factorial of phi is 120 so we'll just display and just run one more time let it be 7 so yeah, 504 is the correct output if you don't know what this factorial is you can check my video which is regarding factorial of a number in C or Java you can refer that Please like, subscribe and comment for this channel. Thanks for the watching.